It is halftime at the Heart of Dallas Bowl with Utah leading West Virginia 17-3. Gives us an opportunity to knock out another postseason history lesson here with Southern Miss taking on Florida State in the Walk-Ons Independence Bowl on Wednesday at 1.30 Eastern Time on ESPN from Independence Stadium in Shreveport. I think this is uh, actually kind of unique and impressive that the Independence Bowl, with all these minor bowl games, changing names, becoming defunct, new ones coming on board, uh, despite sponsorship changes at the Shreveport Independence Bowl, the Independence Bowl has remained intact, its name unchanged since its inaugural game in 1976. Ole Miss has owned the Independence Bowl, and I remember many of these games here. The Rebels are 4-0, including handing Bob Stoops his first bowl game loss at Oklahoma in his first bowl game back in 1999 before he won the national championship the next season. Eli Manning with a bowl win at the Independence Bowl over Nebraska in 2002. Okay, for the two teams that play on Wednesday, we've got Southern Miss with a pretty illustrious bowl history. You might be surprised. 11 and 13. It all started out with the 1953 Sun Bowl and a loss to Pacific 26 to 7. They have played in the Independence Bowl before 1960, a win there against McNeese State 16 to 14. Jeff Bauer, who was a longtime Southern Miss coach from 1991 to 07, a time when I was down uh, in that area covering college football. Uh, Jeff Bauer had a tremendous run at USM, four Conference USA titles. He went 6-4 and four in postseason play. He defeated the likes and played the likes of Pitt, TCU, Oklahoma State, and Utah during his stay at Southern Miss. All right, since Bauer, you've got the 2010 Beef O'Brady's Bowl with a loss to Louisville, 31-28. Uh, 2015, the Heart of Dallas Bowl. And uh, Southern Miss took on a Washington team that, of course, was only one year from going to the college football playoff with Jake Browning as a freshman quarterback, and Washington won that game 44-31. Last season, Southern Miss in the New Orleans Bowl took on Louisiana Lafayette and won that game 28-21. All right, Florida State, what a postseason history for this school. 27-16-2. Goes all the way back, dates back to the 1950 Cigar Bowl. Shouldn't we have a cigar bowl now? Florida State defeated Wofford 10-6. They went to a couple Peach Bowls, a couple Gator Bowls, a Fiesta Bowl. Before the Fiesta Bowl was an elite bowl game when it first started out, it was a minor, lower-tiered bowl game. That was before Bobby Bowden. Then Bobby Bowden completely changed the face of Florida State football. His first bowl game at FSU was the Tangerine Bowl, a win over Texas Tech 40-17. And then over the next uh, 20 years or so, the Florida State postseason resume about as impressive as anyone in college football. They went back-to-back -back Orange Bowl losses to Oklahoma when Oklahoma was at the very elite level and Florida State was still an up-and-comer. This is in 1979 and 1980. They lost to Oklahoma 24-7 and 18-17 on a two-point play by J.C. Watts. Uh, near the end of that bowl game. Then over the next several years, Florida State was emerging as a power. They took on the likes of West Virginia, North Carolina, uh, Georgia, Oklahoma State. Those were wins, Indiana, as well in postseason play. And then from 1988 until 2001, the bowl games each and every year were elite. <clears throat> Starting with the 1988 Fiesta Bowl win over Nebraska, the number five team in the country, 31-28. Over the next several years, Florida State defeated the likes of number six Auburn, number seven Nebraska, number six Penn State, number nine Texas A&M, and then Nebraska again ranked in the top five in the country. Florida State won its first national championship under Bobby Bowden in the 1994 Orange Bowl, defeating Nebraska 18 to 16. It was a great football game, and uh, they had already beaten Nebraska three different times in postseason play in the Fiesta and Orange Bowls, and the Seminoles dominated all those games until this one. And you could tell Tom Osborne was on the brink of something special at Nebraska, not that he didn't have a juggernaut, a powerhouse, but they constantly, consistently lost to Miami and Florida State in the big bowl games. 
specifically the Orange Bowl. But this one, 18-16, down to the wire, Nebraska missed a kick. They had a long play that was called back late in that game, and Florida State held on for the national championship. Bobby Bowden's first. They lost the national championship in 1996, the 97 New Year's Day game at the Sugar Bowl against a Florida team that they had defeated the last game of the season. There was a rematch for the national championship, something that we uh, shun and uh, look down upon these days, me included. But uh, Sugar Bowl rematch with Florida, Florida State, and the Seminoles were drubbed by Danny Werfel and company, 52-30. to 30. Okay, between 1988 and 2001, again, the bowl games were ridiculous. Uh, it, it pretty much culminated for Florida State in terms of their run of dominance by losing as a favorite in the national championship game in 2001 for the 2000 national championship to Oklahoma, basically shut out on offense 13-2 to in the Orange Bowl. Over the next several years, uh, the slight decline. They went 5-4 and four in bowl games from 2001 to 09. They were taking on not the Nebraskas and Penn States and Miamis. For the most part, they were taking on West Virginia a couple times. Virginia Tech, Wisconsin, Kentucky, and uh, UCLA as well. <coughs> Two notable games during the streak, though. Uh, a loss to Miami in a Miami-Florida State rematch at the 2004 Orange Bowl, losing 16-14. And then they took on Big Ten champion and number three Penn State as a big underdog in the 2006 Orange Bowl and came up just short in overtime 26-23. Under Chimbo Fisher, 5-2 and two in bowl games. Four major bowl games. And uh, the high point, of course, the 2013 BCS Championship game at the Rose Bowl against Auburn, winning 31-28. to The very next season, going back to the Rose Bowl, this time not nearly good enough to take on Oregon. And Florida State, though undefeated, loses, with Jameis Winston playing his final game, loses to Marcus Mariota and company 59-20. to And uh, then last season, 2016, an impressive Orange Bowl showing against Michigan. uh, Dominated early, then Michigan came back. It was quite a game, and Florida State wins late over the Wolverines last season at the Orange Bowl, 33-22. All right, the series of Southern Miss and Florida State may be a little bit closer than you would think. Florida State leads the all-time series against USM, 13-8. USM... Uh, had a winning streak from 1957 to 61. Florida State's biggest win in 1987, Deion Sanders and company winning 61 to 10. Southern Miss, as as recently as 1981 against a very good Florida State team, won this game over the Seminoles 58 to 14. And uh, 1989 in particular, probably the most celebrated game in the history of this series between FSU and USM. Brett Favre and company upsetting Florida State in 1989, 30-26. My look at the Independence Bowl and a long and illustrious Florida State Bowl history and Southern Miss as well playing 24 postseason games. They kick off at 12.30 on Wednesday, December 27th. Uh, Stay tuned for more bowl history lessons and rundowns right here on Mark Rogers TV.